What's up guys? This is ANA Hobbies. I'm Corey and today I walked into my local Toys R Us to find a Star Wars 2021 set on the shelf. It's set 75295, the Millennium Falcon Microfighter. This set comes with 101 pieces and was supposed to be released on January 1st, 2021. I picked this set up because I actually have set 75193, the Millennium Falcon Microfighter that was released in 2018 for Series 5. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to build them both and see how they changed them throughout the two models and the design differences between the two ships. So at first glance, both ships look fairly similar to each other, but in actuality, there's a lot of differences between the two that I picked up on. Uh, the first is obviously the two minifigures are going to get Han Solo with this 2021 version, Series 8. And in Series 5, we got a Chewbacca, both great minifigures and very suiting to each microfighter but not exactly the centerpiece of the set. So now if we get the minifigures out of the way and we take a closer look at both of the ships and start over here at the front, you're gonna notice they did make a significant change to the way this piece is in here. It is a one by three slope piece as opposed to a uh, one by two jumper plate there. They closed off this area inside whereas they've left this area open on the new ship, which is um, a lot more accurate in such a micro scale version coming around to the sides they've added a lot of little detailing and greebling with a couple pieces whereas this one is fairly smooth uh, the radar dish is obviously original trilogy as opposed to sequel trilogy radar dish there they've inverted this tile on the escape pod um, for whatever reason just to change the look of it i think Swinging down to the cockpit area, both cockpit pieces are the exact same piece, the printed piece that we've seen before. Although this one has printing on the front of it, uh, which is the 2018 version. And it doesn't appear that I got any printing on the front of it with the 2021 version. So that's a significant difference in the two cockpit pieces. Here you see they've used a trans piece for the cockpit and this one they've used kind of a translucent black piece, giving a different look. Um, either way, I think I like this one a little bit better. The two jumper plates for the seat are different colors, not a big deal. The main color scheme for the ship, you'll notice in the 2018 version, is the darker gray in here, and in the 2020 version is the lighter gray. Uh, they've also inverted the colors on the cheese slopes at the top. In the newer version, they've turned these two grill places uh, the other way and that allowed them to uh, add these two slope pieces coming down here to give a little more curvature to the top of the ship which they weren't able to do in this 2018 version uh, but the biggest difference between the two is going to be found back here in the engines um, they've made a lot of changes to the way that these engines were built in this 2018 version you'll see that they've used a lot of these cylindrical one by ones with a couple one by one translucent blues in there and in the 2021 version they've used these inverted translucent blue one by twos with hinge pieces to make them make the turn in there a little bit better i think is very very effective in how they change that as well as adding these cheese slopes here into the corners which gave a little more roundness to the ship overall of course, one of the nice perks of finding a 2021 set is in the back of the manual, you're gonna get all the pictures of the other sets that are coming out in the wave. So you got the TIE Fighter, the X-Wings, the Imperial Shuttle, the other microfighter set with the Tauntaun and the AT-AT, and the Battle or the Trouble on Tatooine there, as well as their corresponding minifigures here over here on this page. Uh, so that was really cool to actually get that in hand and be able to see those for myself. All in all, though, these two builds, uh, both very good for what they are in microfighter form. I think LEGO has really accomplished a lot with the microfighter and the Millennium Falcon. They really portrayed exactly what they're supposed to be. Not sure why they downgraded there with the cockpit print on that piece, but uh, it is what it is. They did make a lot of improvements over the two builds. I, I really don't see a need in going backwards on this one, um, seeing how this one's still available. I can't see this one being worth picking up because this one is a much improved design. Uh, that's about going to wrap it up for today's video, you guys. Let me know in the comments whether you like this little comparison uh, between this version and that version because I'd like to do some more. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Leave the video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.